guys, welcome back to another episode of Not So Super Fair. And today we just, I'm just going to talk about a few news uh, I got from Comic Con. And this is all the one that picked my interest. So I'm going to just talk about them real quick. Um, first one Alien Covenant. Then you get uh, the reception for Alien Covenant wasn't that good. So Fox is thinking about scrapping the whole sequel for Alien Covenant and doing. I guess a whole new thing with the franchise, which I don't agree with. Because personally, I don't agree with it. Because I really like the whole thing uh, Rita Scott was doing with the whole engineer, how the, these things came to be. But in the other hand, how, with the you know business is business, with the movie not doing good, they they have to do what they do. But what they can do is remember we have Hulu. Netflix, Amazon, we have all these other uh, streaming platforms. Let why don't we do a why don't we just got do an animated series basically about the engineer, the history of the enemies. Do it, do it for the fan. If it's possible, do it. I know a lot of it, it, it'll, it'll get a good uh, crowd. Do that because from that you could basically tell so much story out of just a series about the alien and we find out where the engineers came from what how did they come up with the idea to create human or alien or whatever it is you know why the that chemical that makes these alien creatures why was it created and from or also if you watch prometheus in the alien covenant the two this the engineers from prometheus and the one from alien covenant they look real, they look so different from each other. Cause the one from Prometheus, their skin are not as like white, hellish as the one from Prometheus. The one from Alien Covenant look more close to the, the uh, like kind of, I would say a human, you know, skin. So what's going on there? There is so much more that you could get out of that, just the engineer alone. All right, other news. Shazam! Uh, Warner Brothers announced that the next movie after Aquaman is gonna be Shazam, which I totally agree with. Let's make a Shazam movie because I don't want to see that it's not gonna be Gotham City Siren. It's gonna be it's not gonna be a Harley Quinn uh, spinoff. It's not gonna be a Deadshot uh, uh, spinoff by himself. I don't want to see that. Make a. Uh, Sorry, make a Shazam movie focus on the main DC characters. The the one that I read about, the one I used to watch as a kid. Focus on these characters more because they're 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 the front line of the Justice League. Let build these characters, then you can focus on the the sub the, sub, the characters like Harley Quinn, Deadshot, or all the villains. You want to go in seconds? I don't I don't really care about the villain the villain their psyche, Harley thing, and all that crap. Make movie, make the Justice League movie. You know, make these, make movies about the, the individuals. Like, uh, the Green Lantern. Damn it, make a Green Lantern movie. The last, the Green Lantern with Ryan Reynolds was so so long ago. Stop worrying about how the reception is gonna be and make a Green Lantern movie. Because I know they can make it with now, especially with now with the graphic technology, it can happen. Make it happen. Nobody cares about that old movie. I don't, I don't even think people remember that movie like that. Yes, yes, the comic book fans, some of us, you know, might remember it, but the mo I don't care. Make a Green Lantern movie. Make this movie, Martian Manhunter, Cyborg. Come on, make this happen. Um, Flash. I know. Let's make these individual characters for the. D let's you know focus on these instead of Harley Quinn, which I've said many a time. We don't need a Harley Quinn movie right now. I don't think I don't know who was asking for it. But I didn't ask for a Harley Quinn movie. Yes, her character is interesting, but we don't need that. It's, it doesn't help the D, uh, the DC universe making a Harley Quinn movie or making a Gotham City Siren. Um, so focus on Shazam. And another rumor about Shazam is they're gonna make Billy Batson um, a, a handicap. Uh, I don't. This, this, this is the type of decision that Warner Brother makes that kind of mess that. 
interfere with the universe and things happen later on that they gonna have, they have to retract unless like when he gets the Shazam power from uh, that he ends up he ends up walking somehow he's like work now blah blah this happened but I don't know about him being crippled. Uh, speaking of that, uh, The Rock, Black Adam, the, just dropped The Rock. I love The Rock, he's a great showman, but acting-wise, he's not quite there yet. He, Cause it's The Rock, Every time, I'm not gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna see, I don't know if he, if he could pull out what I want from Black Adam, you know? Especially, Black Adam has this accent, I don't know if The Rock, if you could get out that out of the rock, you know, and get somebody else. It doesn't need because who, who who are you gonna get that's gonna be the size? The Rock is a big dude. Who are you? Who are they gonna get to, to match up his size? Find like find an actor. I know they could find any actor or that could. They buff him up. It's possible. It's possible to get him so uh, actor so You don't need to get the Rock. Yes, he's a showman, but just work on bettering the universe. Get better actors, you know? I don't think the, I, don't, I think they should totally drop the rock and get a new actor to play Black Adam. And right now with the Shazam news, I'm pretty sure they're probably not going to announce it. Um, they're probably going to announce something during Comic-Con tomorrow or later on after Justice League, the Justice League movie come out. Because I know a lot of things are based on what, how well Justice League is going to do and the reception. So... Let's see what happens tomorrow, man. Because Warner Brother has their panel. And speaking of that, Batman Ben Affleck. Hollywood Reporter came out with the news that the future of Ben Affleck is unsure with Warner Brothers and DC as Batman. Unsure. It's not set in stone yet. This is a uh, news they got from a source from they know from Warner Brothers. It, I'm not gonna say it's not true, but I'm still, I'm stay, I'm gonna stay where I am right now and wait till I hear from Warner Brothers and Ben Affleck that they have, they have come to a conclusion that this is what's gonna happen. Ben Affleck is not gonna play Batman. This, this is uh, with the transition. Uh, all right, that I'm gonna be fine once I hear that. All right. But for now, I'm I'm gonna reserve myself and wait till I hear the news from Warner Brothers. I'm not gonna get all hot-headed and excited about it because I really like Ben Affleck's uh, Batman and uh, Batman v Superman. But with him being old and all this stuff happening, I understand why they would need to change Batman. With Matt Reeves saying he wants to do a trilogy with Batman, not that it's po not pos possible, especially with. I acted like Ben Affleck. I'm pretty sure it's possible to do a uh, uh, trilogy with Ben Affleck, even at his 50. I'm pretty sure it's possible. It's not. It, it's not that hard. But if they're gonna do a trilogy, I'm pretty sure they could do like a kind of like a flashback thing. You know? He's, this is my 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 idea. Batman comes on like he comes to the Batcave one night after a long night, and his tires all beat up. Then he has a talk with Alfred, and he starts, you know, or somebody comes in. I tell him, ask him about his story or something, and he starts reminiscing about how he became Batman. And they have a, a younger Batman while he's telling the story. And from that, we get, get a younger Batman. You never know. Or, like always, use the Flash, Flashpoint Paradox, and everything changed, and Bruce Wayne looks different. Boom, that's it. But the other hand, you might you might confuse the audience, which is understandable. So I'm curious to see if it's gonna if Batman is gonna quit. I mean, <laughs> look at this, man. Miami drivers, man. People don't know how to drive down here. So if Ben Affleck is gonna quit, I'm curious how they're gonna do it because it says they're gonna let him out gracefully. Hopefully, they don't kill him more. Or they do something that, you know, because Bruce Wayne to me is a bad man. No matter how many other people took the mental, it's always, to me, even my kid know, uh, if you ask who's Batman, every kid's going to tell you it's Bruce Wayne. So, I wonder, brothers, I don't, I don't really, you know, Batman Beyond, nah, that's, save that for the future later on. You know, don't do that. But it has to be Bruce Wayne as Batman. 
And now with Matt Reeves changing the script and taking putting his own spin into it, uh, throwing out Ben Affleck and Jeff John's script, I don't know what's gonna happen. But it it it, it was expected to be a lot of changes because at first with DC there was too many hands in the kitchen with Batman v Superman with Suicide Squad, you know, there was too many hands in the kitchen and now they're trying to clean house and. I just don't know what's gonna happen. Um, and with uh, Josh Whedon taking, doing, doing what he's doing right now with all this research, he's been extensive research he's been doing with Justice League, and we might get a trailer tomorrow for Justice League. I wonder if his his trailer is gonna be different from the last one. Is it, if, it, if, if the colors are gonna be you know brighter, if, if how different is it gonna be? That's one thing I'm curious about. Josh Whedon's uh, Justice League trailer. Because it's been three uh, three months of reaching, so very curious to see how is that going to be. Um, well, guys, that was my thoughts on the Comic Con news about Alien, um, Shazam, and Batman. If you guys have any input, please leave a comment down below, and I will be getting back at you with more reviews and reactions and news also. Since I do that now, see ya.